So all this bending might look pretty or might think, you psychologically think, oh, I'm getting out of the way. But that tells me you're more, in, you're not confident in the move that you're doing. Isn't that, isn't that exactly what is happening? Your mind is going, oh, I'm a little behind, I'm not, I'm not paying attention. You look like, oh, I go like this. That is, this is the difference. If you're training and you're doing that in your system, because the consciousness says, if you're doing that, if you're allowing yourself, because each one of you have your system using scars, you're not doing scars because you're not in a positive state. If I'm going like this, I go, oh shit. I'm in a fear state. My brain has nothing to do with winning the fight, but everything to do with escaping or getting my ass kicked. Because if I do this, he hits me in the back of the head there. But if I got caught, if I'm sitting here and I go, well, shit, I just boom like that, there, there's, I'm going to beat the shit out of somebody. I'm not going to, the fear, my mind says hit, hit, hit. So you can't, that's why you doing, that's why all of this stuff, you know, th that works in competition. That's not, there's some reasons for it because it's boxing or it's a competition and I'm being fair. I'm, I'm being, I'm, I'm basically, it's fair because I've been forced to get in the ring and now I, you know when I'm going, so now we come and we play this, this is the, the, the to me this is wrong because I'm either going to get into it and see what you are, or I'm going to end up playing this jumpy back, who's fast, who isn't, and it gets, it weighs on your technique because it, it what happens when, if I'm like this, it, 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 what are you, I mean, are you confident that you can hit me, right? I mean, I'm sitting here doing like this, but, I, but what I'm really doing, I'm watching you, and every time you throw a blow at me, and I do this, it's, the, I'm losing. <laughs> I am losing, even though I think, okay, I'm just weeding them in. I'm waiting for my opportunity. Well, pretty soon he gets an opportunity, and my brain, it isn't that I lose courage. It's that I'm training my brain that I must do these kinds of concepts prior to my assault to get up to courage. I mean, wait a minute. Why do I need... I, I look at you, I, you're analyzed. I know exactly what I want to do to you. Because I got the confidence. But if I don't, okay, let's see what he's got. Wait a minute, why do I need to see? Am I going to let him do what he's good at? I'm sure to get my ass kicked. Man, if I let him do what he's good at, this is the mind game that you play. This is the, it's so acute to how fast we can think and how we perceive the threat and whether or not we can actually eliminate it in one blow. If I believe that I, got to see what this guy is by putting up and putting my dukes up and, you know, playing the game. I'm not saying it's wrong in competition, because that's the way they work. That's the way the mind works. But we're not teaching that. This is about living. When I perceive a man, it's not about what he can do. It's not relevant. When I perceive him, it's how long am I going to let him stand his ground? The fact that he's still existing here. The stack, if I walk up to this guy and he's standing there like that, the only reason he exists now is because I haven't heard him. Not because, all right, I've got to watch him. Oh boy, but he's got a long arm, big chest, man. He might hit me hard, you know, or he look, i got to see how fast he is. I wonder if he's faster than me. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. That's the way everybody wants you to think. That allows blocking in the system. That allows the fact that you can counter the counter. You can't counter a broken leg. If I walk up to you and I flick you like that, you're forced. You're absolutely forced to pay attention to the hand. If I flick like that, break your leg. I don't just kick it. I break it, snap it. How are you going to fight me back? But if I walk up and I go, okay, let's see. What happens? He goes, oh, you're going to, yeah, all of a sudden he breaks my leg. Or he hits me in the eye. Because... Maybe he wasn't aware that I was mad at him. So when you practice, 
and you end up getting lazy, and you, you know, this is the, you're striking, and you're looking good, and then the next minute I see you kind of like going like this, that pisses me off, not because it doesn't look good, or that you couldn't even accomplish it, because plenty of you have the skill to be able to do that, there's plenty of skills that can do that. But it tells me for a moment, you were out of control and you were fearful in your mind. You may not, guys that get, have it done a lot, they don't see it as fearful. The kind of fear that I'm talking about is the, is the, the action of what we're going to talk about in electrical circuitry of your brain, that that circuitry takes over and forces you to do this ridiculous slip out. If you could have touched him with your hand, you can take him with the rest of it. In fact, the whole idea, if I can touch you there, I can touch you here. I don't need to ever put my hand up to stop your punch. There's, if, I, if I see that punch, I don't have to do is put my hand slowly. I just don't pay attention to the strike. But if my brain, and when you train, that's why I do like, you know, every once I say, stop striking the arm and just come in on it and hit it and hit things. And, the, and now the thing what you learn is you, you end up being lazy out here and your hands are out of the way. You know, your, your body isn't in good proportion, so your face is leading yourself. So when I tell you to come in, you guys come in so far, and you start putting your hands up because you're not really coming in with the tough. When I came in to you, I, want, I stopped my hands. You saw that there was, if I come to you right now, look, you really look at my hands. Is there any opening anywhere to where you're going, I don't, my body just moves, but it doesn't move like this. You see that big opening? It's basically, when I come in, if I come in this guy, this boom, even like that. When I came in, it was just, it was, it was, everything is cross-purposing. In other words, we're trying to close the gap, but my brain doesn't think about that. It thinks only on the task that I need to do. So don't let yourself and if you start going back, it's because there's only one reason. You guys been back, it's because you're getting lazy. You're getting, you're getting tired. Kick yourself in the ass because you're killing yourself. 